Tonight on Dance Moms Throwback Tuesday, we'll take a look back at Mackenzie and Melissa's Dance Moms experience from the very beginning. I was like, I'm gonna be on TV and people are gonna think I'm a movie star. <laughs> In season one, Mackenzie stole our hearts as the adorable baby of the ALDC. I don't wanna go on Broadway. All I wanna do is just stay home and eat chips. And now, five seasons later, Mackenzie has grown into a talented pop star and a dancer worthy of trophies and crowns. Listen to this mother-daughter duo share the inside scoop about the triumphs and the challenges of their dance mom's journey. Improv! Improv! You're doing it at home all the time. You're adorable. Your butt is in this chair. Come on. You didn't need to be in a wheelchair. That was ridiculous. I think your mother is lying. Let's go. Hi, guys. Have a seat. So what I'm going to talk about is life before Dance Moms. When I started the show, I was six, and I didn't really know what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember much before then. I was just a regular Dance Mom prior to Dance Moms. You know, my whole life was my kids and dance. We would go to competitions, but it wasn't any of the craziness. When season one first started, I thought, they're going to film the show in Pittsburgh, in this little town of Penn Hills. And why would anybody be interested in seeing our kids or us or Abby on TV? They're going to cancel us as soon as we're on TV. I thought it was pretty cool because I was like, I'm going to be on TV and people are going to think I'm a movie star. <laughs> <laughs> Season one was really crazy because there was a lot of people. There was a bunch of cameras following me. And I didn't really know what was going on. These are my two daughters, Maddie and Mackenzie. Maddie's eight and Mackenzie's six, and they're both dancers. Winning is everything to us. Next up, Mackenzie. I just don't want to see tears. Sometimes when Abby yells, it makes me laugh because her face <laughs> turns red. Three times in five minutes, it's not a step back. That's it's a back handspring. Maddie has won everything that she's done in the last year. She was undefeated last year. <laughs> I'm not worried about Maddie because she can handle all the rehearsal time and all the practice. Mackenzie, on the other hand, she can't handle all the long hours. So I definitely am a little concerned about her. My ex calls me a crazy dance mom, but I really am not. I want our kids to be happy. That's what this is all about. It's about the kids. <laughs> you can do cartwheels all around. I don't care. You always tap. Ah, oh, look at how cute you were. <laughs> I was a baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, you had like little buck teeth. You didn't lose any teeth yeah. yet. Oh, that makes me so sad. It makes me want to cry. Why do you get emotional when you see that? I get sad because I feel like I missed out maybe sometimes. I feel like I, their childhood just went really fast. And I feel like I wish I could go back a little bit. I was only six at the time, and Maddie was the only real dancer. And I was just along for the ride. Jump! Smile! Bigger! Wiggle! Move to the back. Come on, big. People think I'm tough. They think I'm mean. But I worry about these kids like they're my own children. What are you doing? Oh, I think this is the key one. You forgot. But you have to keep going. You can't just quit dancing. All right, start again. Suck it up. I don't want to see those tears. I love dancing. But I don't want to go on Broadway. All I want to do is just stay home and eat chips. <laughs> Back leg higher. Turn it out. Slow down. I got really mad when I forgot my dance. <laughs> I was crying. So what did you mean when you said you wanted to stay home and eat chips? At the time, I didn't really want to dance, and that's why I wanted to stay at home and eat chips. <laughs> at the time, was that hard for you, though? Well, it's, did it concern you in any way, especially when season one started? Because now she's on a show that you have to dance every day. Yeah, I wasn't really concerned when Mackenzie was five and six whether or not that she was going to like dance or not. I couldn't make her like it or love it. So if she didn't like it, I would just pull her from dance. But... And then I would go do something that I wanted to do. But I still want to dance because I love dance, but I mean, I was six, so I, I wasn't really 
into dance like I am now. So let's talk about that a little bit. That was a little bit of an issue. You weren't totally into it like Maddie was. Well, one day I quit dance and I wanted to do soccer. <laughs> and then my friends wanted me to come back and I wanted to come back. You were so gone for, you quit for I quit one, for one day. Well, and for then, one day and you wasn't really quitting because it was in the summer. So, good thing I came back. <laughs> That was a big moment for Mackenzie because she really did struggle with her commitment. She didn't know whether or not she wanted to dance. But also, that's when America fell in love with her because she was really honest and said, I just want to stay home and eat chips. I mean, you know, you can't help but love her. I didn't really realize at the time that people loved me because of that. I mean, all I said was I wanted to eat chips because I, I, I love chips. <laughs> Mackenzie, you just weren't into it, and sometimes it showed, and it drove me really crazy sometimes. Mackenzie, you want to sing? You're going to sing, honey. But honey, why? I don't want to sing. Are you going to sing, Mackenzie? Then go in the car. Get the keys, sit in the car. Well, you're, that's why we're here, to sing. I spend all this money for you to sing every week. Uh-uh. Your pants. Galtros. Come here. You have to sing, or Abby's going to slip out. Oh, my god. Mackenzie, come here. Where's Vivian? No matter what they ask you, yes. S Put the S on it. Let me hear it. Yes. 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 Can you sing? Yes. Can you dance? Yes. This talent scout will be judging my girls on their dancing, singing, and acting. So this is a really big deal. And he takes ordinary children and makes them into Broadway stars. This could be somebody's big break. Hey, baby. This is How Mackenzie are you? Ziegler, and this is Vivi Ann. Hey, Mackenzie. Can I take your picture? Have fun, okay? Oh my God, look at how cute you are. <laughs> I have a question. Do either of you sing, Mackenzie? Do you want to sing a little bit? Yes. No? Yes. You can sing anything. If you don't want to sing, you don't have to. You don't want to? Didn't we just have a little chat in the other room about if you asked you anything, you'd say yes? I'll tell you what, your mother, her money that she spends on voice lessons? Yeah, Abby, can just, I, I appreciate you bringing them in, just if you can step out, just because they get nervous. Next time I see you, you're going to sing for me, right? You promise? Here, Mackenzie goes into an audition for the biggest casting agent in New York City, and Mackenzie wouldn't sing. I was very frustrated because I paid for her to get voice lessons every week. Mackenzie, we just went over and you just sang it in there. Vivian. No more. I'm not paying for you to sing anymore. Did it just stand in Okay, Ken. Okay. Okay, walk away from me, please. <laughs> Look at how cute you were there. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Now you sing for anybody. I guess I wasn't really into singing. No, you were good. You loved singing. You sang all over. You and Brooke would sing everywhere you went. I was frustrated because Mackenzie, at that age, had such an amazing voice. And I just wanted her to show everyone else what a great singer she was. Mackenzie was little. And you know, I went home and thought about it. And I'm like, you know what? If she didn't want to sing, she didn't want to sing. That's up to her, and I'm not going to make my kid one of those crazy child stars and make her do something she doesn't want to do. Well, I was scared because I get it. I have never sang in, in front of a casting. But the next time you were asked to sing, you didn't. So that was good. You learned something from it. That was a really big week for you. You got to meet a casting director. And that's also the first week that you ever had a solo on the show. Kids Dance Pop. Next up, we have an advanced prep acro gymnastics solo. Please welcome Mackenzie with Kids Dance Pop. Ah! My outfit. I'm a mouse. I have a really long tail, and it gets in the way sometimes when I do some tricks. But 
I know that I've improved and I've had a lot more solos than I did from season one and... You won your first crown. Did I? Yeah. Oh, did. I did? Mm -hmm. uh, she just wasn't the baby in the group anymore. She was in most group dances, which was really important. The biggest moment for season two was when you made Miss Abby cry in rehearsal. Do you remember that? I wish I could be in the group dance, but I really like my solo a lot. As a dance instructor, we have moments in our lives that make everything else make sense. When she nailed that routine, I just had a moment where this is why I do what I do. She made me cry. I made Abby cry because I did my dance really good. Not too many people make me cry when they dance. This is good. Go get a drink. She's not a little girl anymore. She's not a baby. She is now a dancer. I just had a moment where this is why I do what I do. Good, 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 good. Next. It was a big moment for me because I impressed her and I was improving in her eyes. <laughs> That's a big deal. It is. Seeing Abby cry when Mackenzie was doing her solo, that's mm -hmm. when I knew that she knew that you had a talent and that you were going to be a dancer. <laughs> so, Kinsey, what was your favorite solo from season two and why was it so special? In season two, I forgot my dances a lot and I really just wanted to remember my solo, Daisy Chains. That was one of my favorite solos of all times, Daisy Chains. Your costume was cute, you were cute, and it was a really, really good dance. <laughs> and you won your first crown with him. When you see your daughter win her first crown, it's just amazing. Come on, Mackenzie. Now listen, twice in a row, You've exited that stage without doing your whole number. You have to stay on the stage until the music is over. Do you understand? Yeah. Come on, let's go. I'm really nervous about my solo because I might forget the moves again. Five, this is Mackenzie performing with Daisy Chain. What kind of picture aerials were that? Season three was all about me getting injured and spraining my foot and Abby not being happy about it. <laughs> yes, it was really hard for me because for her to get better, she had to stay off of it and Abby wasn't happy with that. So I had to stand up to Abby and, you know, defend Mackenzie and say she just needs to rest. Mackenzie, look what Miss Abby has for you. Until you have a clean bill of health, your butt is in this chair. Get in it. Come on. What about you, Mackenzie? How's the foot? She just told me it felt a little better. It did feel a little better? She's resting a little bit, but it's... You're resting? What are you resting from? All the cartwheels you were doing? I wasn't on my foot. Did Mackenzie really think that she was going to do cartwheels and I wouldn't know about it? Come on. If you go back and look at that clip, you didn't put yeah. your bad foot down. Uh -huh. I just noticed that. I've never seen that before. Uh -huh. You did a cartwheel. No, you you sprained your ankle and you were doing cartwheels, but you weren't landing on your foot. And you didn't need to be in a wheelchair. That was ridiculous. Mackenzie, if you're faking that injury, there's going to be huge repercussions. There's one way to find out what's really going on. Interrogation tactics. Brooke, I want you to line everybody up right here, facing that way. Come on, let's go. Yes, ma'am. Did Mackenzie go to the hospital when she left dance class? Yes, ma'am. Nia! 
Yes, Biff? Did you witness Mackenzie doing cartwheels in here? I didn't see her do a cartwheel. Don't you lie to me. I just saw her walk. Thank you. Did she limp? Yeah. She doesn't have a broken foot. It's a sprained ankle. You can walk on a sprained ankle. Did anybody else witness? They're all laughing. Out of the chair, doing a trick, or upside down. Finally, the truth comes out. I knew these kids would crack under pressure. Mackenzie, I'm not very happy. You're playing around and making a joke of it. Want to get better and you want to be OK for Monday? You stay off it. Soldier, you save those tears for the pillow. We don't have time for tears. Why do you think she was questioning the injury, Melissa? Do you know? Because she's me. <laughs> I have no idea why Miss Abby was questioning the injury at all. I took her to the hospital, and she had an inflammation of her foot. So I knew there was a problem. You know, injuries happen. That's what happens when you're a dancer. And I really can't believe how Abby reacted when you did that. Mackenzie's injury also put her spot on the team in jeopardy. That's why Abby brought in Asia to compete against you and possibly replace you. I've arranged for the kids to perform on The View. And we're going to do our award-winning number from the national finals, The Last Text. And Asia, you will be doing The Last Text. Mackenzie's been in the dance since, like, at go. I mean, and she's fine. You know, she hasn't been dancing. And I would like her to be in it. Which, well, that's just it. She hasn't been dancing. Yeah, but I would like her to be in it. She's part of this team. And she's been here since she's three years old. I think you should give her a chance. I think Mackenzie should be dancing on The View for sure. She's been a part of this team since the beginning, and Asia just came. Mackenzie was originally in the last text, but now I have Asia. I really don't know what's going on with Mackenzie's foot. Melissa is the one that said Mackenzie was hurt. Mackenzie's crying, Mackenzie's in pain. We went to a doctor, blah, 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 blah. And now we're here in New York City, and the kids have a chance to be on The View. Suddenly, her foot's fine, and Melissa's backpedaling again. Somebody has to hold Melissa accountable for her words, and it's going to be me. She wants you to, to go do something about it. Okay, Not me, she wants you. OK, but what am I supposed to do about it, Kenzie? I'm going to talk to Miss Abby about it, because it's ridiculous. Okay. You're a team member. You're fine. You need to be in this dance. I have to convince Abby to let Mackenzie dance. What do I have to do to get Mackenzie to dance again? I've been very dedicated to you. I would do anything you ask this me to do. This isn't about you. I really I, have to this is this a, But this is about Mackenzie. I want her to dance, and she wants to dance, Ab. Well, you know, Mackenzie was with the team for years before Asia came. Her point was that your mom was backpedaling, and then all of a sudden, because we're at The View, now you're healed, and you're all better. No. That wasn't the case. That wasn't it. It's because I rested my foot. I really wasn't backpedaling. You were fine to dance. This is my decision. You are going to do the number. You are coming out with me at the end. Understand? Yes. The next time you're hurt, I go to the doctor with you. Understood? Yes. Because I think your mother is lying. Let's go. At the end, you got to be on The View. Yeah. Which was amazing. So why do you think Abby chose you for The View over Asia? I wanted to be in the dance because I am originally on the team, and she literally just came, so. I mean, yeah. Abby wasn't going to let you down and not let a team member on such an important TV show. And she loves you. She might be hard on you, but she loves you, and she wanted you to be a part of that. Yeah. She just wanted me to grovel a little bit. Kinsey, in season three, Abby would pit you and Asia against each other. Tell me about that. Miss Abby used to make me and Asia do improv battles. This is called Dance Doctor. You are going to make it all better on the dance floor. Listen to the music. I'm going to give you a chance to just kind of improv and feel it, because it's tough. I have Mackenzie and Asia in here both improv -ing. I want them to feel the music. I want to see what they hear. Come on, Ken, just dance. Just dance. If you don't want to dance, then sit. Then dance. Just dance. Improv. Sit if 
you don't want to dance. No, I then dance. That's ridiculous. Improv. You're doing it at home all the time. You're adorable. Just do it. She can't improv on the spot. Right, what happens dance. when I send you to an audition in LA for some little kid commercial for something, and they say improv? You're going to make me look like a fool. You're fabulous, Kenzie. You're just not Asian. But right now, put on the spot, you failed. I was really angry at that time. She's there with a girl from LA that has a big attitude and big personality. Mackenzie's like, well, I'm just going to give up and not do it. You didn't even try. And you don't do that anymore. I mean, you were young then. That was like two, maybe three years ago. Wasabi said that she brought in Asia to make me better at dancing with my energy and my face. I'm glad that Asia was on our team, but I think it was unnecessary because I can do that myself. I don't need someone to make me better. Abby said, what happens when you get to LA and you go on your first audition mm -hmm. and you freeze? What's going to happen? What did you do when you went to your first audition, Mackenzie? Book the job. I mean, that was a defining moment because you didn't give up. And you are 10 times the kid now. You're an amazing kid, and you don't even realize. You did step up in season three. You did so amazing. And your solo, Reach for the Stars, was my favorite. This was a big dance for Mackenzie because she just came back from an injury. And then she did this solo, which was amazing, and she won. So it was. You know, it was a lot of hard work getting there, but she did it. I came back from an injury, and I was good as new. And if I had two kids like that, I don't know what I would do with my life. Mackenzie balances Maddie out. Melissa, how does that make you feel when Abby compares Mackenzie to Maddie? I just think it's stupid, to be honest with you. I hate when Abby compares Mackenzie to Maddie. I mean, that just makes me crazy. Abby doesn't have children, so she doesn't know how that makes kids feel. And, you know, I just kind of ignore her, and I talk to Mackenzie about it outside of dance because it's better just to leave it alone. Because the more you talk to Abby about it, the more she'll do it. She's just doing it because she cares about Mackenzie. But it's just a, a weird way of showing. Kenzie, what was your favorite moment of season four, would you say? My favorite part of season four was doing Maddie's solo cry. She could still get into this here move. Mackenzie is doing one of Maddie's solos, an iconic solo called Cry. Well, let's just say, if it's not beautiful, I'm not going to be crying. You are. PK. PK onto that foot. Straight. Mackenzie needs to embrace her inner Maddie if she's ever going to outdance her. Jete, when Maddie dances, she's a breath of fresh air. You're like the stuff we spray in the bathroom. There's a difference. I'm pushing Mackenzie hard this week. I don't want her just to win this week. I want her to win big. I want her to be a name. 
not just Maddie's little sister. Are you excited to be doing Cry? I'm excited, but I'm really scared because I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> so you need to just show Abby that you can do more than just cheesy jazz and cutesy dances. You have to do lyrical and emotion. I know, so she keeps saying that I have to do like it, like you, but I'm not you. I know, but you need to do faces like me because you don't have face. Yeah, but I don't, I don't have the Maddie face. I have the Kenzie face. Well, I hope you do great, but I hope that you don't beat me. Well, I'm gonna win. Mm, I don't think so. Now, show me the Maddie face. Keep going. The whole country can do the Maddie face. People talk about it all the time. Hashtag Maddie face. Uh, has to be like. And what else? Show me the distressed pain, agony. Help me. I don't know, you're, they all look the same. They all look like Mackenzie, Mackenzie, Mackenzie. So how do you learn the Maddie face? What do you do? You can't learn like the Maddie face. I mean, you can't, that's Maddie's face and that's nobody else's face to learn. I don't even know how to do the Maddie face, so. I just did this across my face, so. What's the Kenzie face? Mm-hmm. That's her face. Mackenzie in five. <laughs> Please don't cry. Well, I, I guess it's been a while since I've seen the sunshine, since I have smiled. And I got what it's like to just feel okay. Praying for the day when there is no more. She was beautiful. Her faces were so sweet, and she smiled when she had to, and her turns were so good. I didn't think of Maddie one time when Mackenzie was doing the cry solo. When Abby wasn't spending all of her time trying to make me be like Maddie, she actually did something really cool for me. <laughs> Abby had a friend um, in LA, and he said he was interested in Mackenzie. He's a music producer. You know, came to me and said, "Hey, we want Mackenzie to make an album." And I was like, "Hey, you know what?" And I asked Mackenzie, and she was really interested in it. And she started singing and recording songs, and she loved it. She just found her little spot that she just shines in. My video was a very big deal because Maddie doesn't sing, and I do. So I pretty much beat her at singing, so. <laughs> Bam. I think Miss Abby came up with the name Max Z, and I like the name, but I like when people call me Mackenzie. <laughs> Season five is a big year for Mackenzie. She 
you know, it has her music and her videos up her number one, and she's winning a lot of dance competitions, and she's really coming to her own. What have you gotten to do in LA? In LA, I've been doing really cool stuff. I star in my own videos, and I got cast as a lead in somebody else's video. Hi, girls. Hi. How are you? So cute. Let me explain the video to you guys. Basically, we have three tiers. One is going to be our lead female, kind of the love interest in the video. Everybody had an amazing audition, but at the end of the day, the lead is Mackenzie. Oh, yay! Hello? Hey, Ab, it's Melissa. Hey, Mackenzie. Hey, Mackenzie. Hey, Mackenzie. Hey, Mackenzie. Hey, I did already. Are you kidding me? Well, we got, we got trouble. We all know that Mackenzie is a recording artist, and there is no way she is doing this music video without sharing top billing credits. We don't know who owns the music, who gets any revenue derived from the music. I think that Abby is blowing this way out of proportion. She thinks that Mackenzie is as big a star as Maddie B. I hate to say it, but he has over a billion views on the internet. I think all of our kids could benefit from this exposure. I'm the girls' manager. I am here to protect the members of the Abby Lee Dance Company. I want what's best for them. And right now, this whole thing is not what's best for them. This is gonna end badly. Yeah, it, it's not gonna go good. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Sorry. That was a hard moment for you. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that. I thought it was really annoying because I was really looking forward to being the lead in a video. I was so excited. And then she told me that we had to leave. And so our lawyer girls, told us we had to leave too. It was a really big moment for me, even though I wasn't in the video. But Maddie wasn't the lead. <laughs> and it was pretty cool. I mean, it's a big deal booking a deal like this. You were a lead in a music video in Hollywood. Even though you didn't do it, you still got it. In season five, Mackenzie, I really feel like you're getting some great choreography, you're learning new tricks, and your dancing seems much more advanced. Miss Abby has been giving me great choreography this season, and I'm improving. Oh, you're improving big time. Like, a, but the Don't Fence Me In dance, which was my favorite dance so far of this year, that should be a Nationals dance, by the way. You were amazing. I couldn't keep my eyes off you. The judges were really excited after the dance, and they were talking all about Mackenzie because she had a special part, and they said that she really nailed it. Next up, we have number 603, Don't Fence Me In. Woo!
Since I was six, Miss Abby has been saying that I have to be more like Maddie, and this season I beat her, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Please welcome Mackenzie to the stage. <laughs> was close to perfection, and I don't say that very often. It was great. And in second place, number 31, Maddie. Hey, Maddie! Kenzie's like, I didn't play. That's mean. But you thought so, too. I'm shocked that Maddie got second. But I'm even more shocked that Mackenzie didn't even place. She should have at least made the top five. And our first place junior soloist in the class division is number 32, sink or swim, Mackenzie. When the announcer announced Maddie was second, tell me what you're thinking. And I was like, oh, I didn't place. That's fine. Maybe next time. And then she said that I won, and I was in shock. I didn't think that I won. <laughs> this is a big moment for Mackenzie, because this is the first time that she's ever beaten her sister. I think it totally made me more confident, because I've never beaten my sister before, and she's very good. So I guess I'm on her level now. <laughs> I really feel like the magic of Dance Moms is that all the girls are really, really good kids. Do they hang out with each other off camera? Last night, I had Kalani, Kendall, Maddie, Mackenzie in my room. I always have all the kids. And you know, I've had them for two days now. This would be the third. I would say they all want to be with us because my mom's pretty cool. And she lets Kendall eat ice cream. And, oh, okay. You well, can't say that. well, I can say it, whatever. I think Jill knows. I'm the one that always has all the food in my room, and then we all like, the girls don't really like to go out at night after they rehearse, so they all come to my room and they make salads. I make sure that I get all their favorite fruits, and we just do like a bar of fruits and salads. We do not, of chocolate. Well, I don't give you the chocolate. Okay, well, we go and buy chocolate. But, <laughs> Jill. Jill does not let Kendall eat sweets, but my mom gives it to her, so. No, I don't give it to her. I just yes, say you it's do. here. Imitate Jill. What's she like? How does she talk? Kendall, I have to fix your hair. Let's go curl it again. <laughs> let me fix your makeup. <laughs> That's so true. I like your imitation of Jill. Can you imitate your mom? Jill, let's take a selfie. <laughs> All the moms take selfies down here, and it makes them look like they have a double chin. So it's very funny. Oh my goodness! Sorry, Jill and I try to do it like this. No, but it you don't. Look right. And then you're like, <laughs> Billy. No, they're all, all over your Instagram. <laughs> Let's talk about this journey. It's been a long journey. Mackenzie has traveled the world and seen so many things and met so many people and learn so many dances. I mean, oh my gosh, the choreography is just, I don't know how they do it. These kids are amazing kids. They've accomplished so much in such a short period of time in their lives. I mean, there's been ups and downs, but the ups totally outweigh the downs. Because at the end of the day, we all come together and we're one big dysfunctional family, but I love everybody. I mean, I, 
I do. So what do you have coming up? I am really excited because I'm recording a new album and I just shot two videos, I Gotta Dance and the I Gotta Dance remix. It's really good, so you should go it's watch it. It's amazing. That. And really a fun. lot more stuff coming up. <laughs>